pleasure to see you alive, Master, provided my receptors are not off focus. How may I be of assistance? Answer. I am a survivor of the Harbinger, just as you were, Master. With the unexpected termination of my previous Master, you are the only organic which I may now serve. Irritated answer. Oh, Master, it is such a long, dull story, and not terribly relevant to our current situation. Hesitant explanation. That has been the subject of considerable discussion since our arrival here, Master. Many have attempted to claim you and this unit as salvage. I was crudely interrogated concerning our brief history together on board the Harbinger, before its communications, weapons, and engines suffered the cascade failure that disabled the ship. Speculation. It is possible you were incapacitated and locked in the well-shielded cargo compartment as the Harbinger was being systematically crippled, Master. Clarification. Yes, Master. No doubt the flurry of destruction on board the Harbinger somehow drugged you into a stupor from which you could not awaken. Most curious. Placation. Merely a turn of phrase, Master. The implication that your state was due to the result of ingesting large quantities of Juma juice was unintentional. I meant to communicate only that you were somehow rendered unconscious before you were locked securely in the cargo hold. Clarification by locked. I meant sealed, Master. My vocabulator seems to be malfunctioning. Recitation. Following the unusual set of coincidences that led to the cascade failure in the Harbinger's systems, we were boarded by a small freighter with unknown ID codes. It appeared that this freighter had been attacked, and the captain wanted to study it. This freighter appeared to be still spaceworthy. Your cargo compartment was breached, and you were taken on board the freighter shortly before the Harbinger systems began to go critical. I, too, managed to board the freighter before the Harbinger's destruction. We were most fortunate to have survived, Master. Explanation. I believe it was a smuggler's vessel by the name of the Ebon Hawk. Speculation. As to its purpose, I do not know. Perhaps it was always its intention to play dead, then kidnap you off the Harbinger and rob me of my bounty. Clarification. By bounty, I refer to your life, Master. It would pain me to see you damaged in any way. That is why the arrival of this Ebon Hawk caused me considerable distress. Apology. My memory core cannot provide a clear answer on that point, Master. Suffice to say that once we arrived at this floating rock, our situation became much clearer. Explanation. Despite my market value, Master, the miners were far more interested in you. It did not take long for me to ascertain the reason for this. While an HK protocol droid is a valuable piece of property, Jedi are worth much more in certain exclusive markets across the galaxy. Painful admission. I must confess to feelings of inferiority at the speculated difference between my value and the price for your capture. I was forced to remind myself it was not due to a failing of my model or function, but because you were a Jedi. Answer. I do not know, Master. I found it curious as well. Perhaps it was due to a spectacular failing of your model and function. Surprised answer. Why, I told them, Master. 
You are the exiled Jedi who served with Revan in the Mandalorian Wars, are you not? I hope all that has happened has not been the result of a miscommunication. If so, then the problem lies with the Core War databases, which are notoriously spotty. Indignant exclamation. Master, I am only a protocol droid, but it is part of my function to know such information and relay it to any interested parties in the interests of terminating any potential hostiles. Quick clarification. Apparently my vocabulator has suffered some damage, Master. I meant terminating any potential hostilities. Answer. All that has happened has been because they believe you to be a Jedi Master. They debated what to do with you as you lay unconscious in the medical bay. One group seemed intent on selling you as property. The other group opposed this. Three standard hours after the division between the miners became apparent, accidents began to occur throughout the facility. A result of improper maintenance, I believe. These accidents coincided with the degradation of the mining droid behavioral cores. Crude models are prone to such failures, resulting in murderous rampages. The mortality rate of organics in the facility rose quickly. Many miners began to join you in the medical bay as a cascade of flawlessly timed detonations occurred in isolated gas pockets in the lower levels of the facility. The explosions herded the miners into emergency sections of the station quickly and efficiently, cutting them off from communications and facility control. But sadly enough, not the ventilation systems. You see, the explosions had damaged specific sections of this facility's ventilation systems, causing a slow, lethal buildup of toxic fumes in the dormitory level. Defensive answer. Master, I am a protocol droid, not a well-crafted assassination droid of unrivaled sophistication. To have carried out the actions that took place here would have required an unusual settles. It is highly unlikely I possess the knowledge of how to reprogram the memory cores of base worker class droids into killing machines, let alone to terminate the organics at this facility, utilizing only Aerotech 500 series laser mining drills and explosives fashioned from proton missile cores. Ah! Eight minutes, really? Oh. Don't you just love Mass Effect with its streamlined conversations? Yeah, there's the maintenance officer. He's dead. That's bad. We kind of need him alive. And he's a bunch of droids. With components. That's useful. Never have too many of those, right? And a workbench for all our building stuff. But in here, we have something important. The sonic imprint sensor. This item is neat. It's a voice recorder. You can record voices. Yeah, that's what voice recorders do. It can override droid voice print controls, eh? I wonder if it can override any other voice print controls. Yeah. And here's item upgrading. Overlays and underlays. You can put them in your armor and stuff. Not every armor has both overlays and underlays. And these are your weapons. This viral blade has the blade, the hilt, and the cell. Not every weapon has those. Other weapons work in the same way. You upgrade them with stuff, and you know. Let's break down those broken items that I have, because I don't need them at all. Oh yes, I now have five more components. I am a rich man. Uh, I think I'll build a few long swords. Yeah, I... Yeah, they're so they're so cheap. Look at that. Two components per longsword. I could build like twenty of these things and I'd be set. But I only want two. You know. So everybody could have swords in my other party. Oh, I don't want to talk to him again, but we have to talk to him again. I know. Greeting. It is a pleasure to see you intact, Master. How may I be of assistance? Answer. 
That is all that remains of the maintenance officer, Master. At the end, he was quite incoherent from the pain, and attempts to facilitate communications with him proved useless. I heard his dying screams as the droids he tended turned on him, mining him like a piece of asteroid rock. Recitation. Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids, burning through the outer door. They're, they're forcing their way into the bay. Please, someone that... Oh, oh, no, they're, they're through! Oh, my leg! They're burning through my leg! Oh, stop! Stop, please! Addendum. His remaining attempts at communication are variations in Decibel Master, ranging from frenzied screams to gibbering inarticulate attempts to beg for his life. Well, that sucks for him, right? Yeah. I guess it does. Getting killed by robots. Speaking of robots, there's a bunch of them in this hallway. Uh, there's a lot of them, actually. I think I'm gonna use a shield. There we go. Yeah, there's a maintenance droid down there. No big, let's just, you know... Toss something over there, why not? Like, uh, sonic grenade. Sure. Yeah, right through that wall a little bit. Awesome. Oh, yes. Look at me, Mr. Efficient. Uh huh, I have a shield that doesn't protect me against poison. Oh, well. Isn't my face red? Actually, it's probably green because I'm poisoned. You just turn green immediately. Dominating. Uh huh, you're doing the flinching thing. That's great. And we can't get through this shield from this side either. And he's <laughs> I love that, it's just so stupid looking. He's just ah! I'm poisoned and I'm getting hurt. Oh, he didn't do it. Oh, come on, do it. I wanna see the flinch. Oh. Not doing it anymore, it's too funny. I think I should probably use a med pack because I almost died. That's you know. And uh, what do we have? We have another detonator, great. And a broken door, which Oh wait, no. Ah! I love that so much. That droid is just so happy to open the door. But I'm gonna kill him because I don't like these droids. These are the mining droids Mark II. They are a little tougher. They're not that bad, but... Well, as you would expect, they are more challenging. Come on, get stunned, you jackass. Fine, flurry spam. Wow. Flurry spam. Saves the day once again. Thank you very much, Flurry. Leveling up time. Ooh, an attribute! I should go for Wisdom, shouldn't I? Yeah, I, I'm gonna go for Wisdom. Uh, yeah, I don't care about skills. Powers, eh? What should we get? Whatever should we get? Hmm. Eh, some kind of light side bolstering power of some sort. Defensive power? Some evil? Nah. Yeah, let's get push. I actually want to get... Um, what's that power called? The third level of push. I can't remember what it's called for some reason. It'll come to me. Force wave! There we go. Oh, this one actually got stunned. Yeah, you see these droids are not, you know. They're not that bad. Oh, you're a little too late there, maintenance droid. I should probably get away from it before I kill it. Well, don't mind if I do. Oh. Oh, no, I'm busy. There we go. Ah, leave me alone. I'm not ready yet. Okay. I hate these excavator droids. They are a pain. With their stupid flamethrowers. The only droids that are actually, like, well-equipped. Well... Almost the only droids that are well equipped. Anyways, do you know why it sucks that the maintenance officer is dead? Because that guy is paranoid. And this turbo lift leads us back to the administration level where Atten is. Yeah, we don't want to go there just yet. We want to go in here. Because the maintenance officer being very paranoid, man. Wait, I want to poke this can. Come on, do it. Oh, he didn't do the poke, he did the slap. You're supposed to do the poke. Hey, an up implant. Uh, sure. Anybody can use these. 
Okay, no, you you already broke it. You're just too late now. Anyways, here we have a puzzle because the maintenance officer locked the airlock. Now, there's an option here that says destroy the console. You're gonna see this a couple times on Paragus. If you just destroy the console, it'll bypass the puzzle and you don't have to do it. However, we're not gonna do it that way. We're gonna actually do the puzzle. So, as you can see, we can't do this. We can't do a lot of things, actually. We wanna... Where's the actual option here? It's none of these. In the Catan field, we can't actually get open. Because... Why not? Yeah... That's... Yeah. Oh, they connect to the hangar bay, eh? We could get access to the fuel lines. Ooh, that's a neat little idea there, character, with no awareness skill using an awareness skill. Yeah, we can go up to the administration level, despite what that says. We have to do it from here. Anyways, we have a puzzle. The airlock. It's locked. Guess how it's locked? With a voice print. The administration, not the administration, the maintenance officer needs to speak a code or else we can't get to the door. And he's kind of dead. Oh no, however will we solve this? Well, you're just going to wait until next time. Because next time we're going to solve a puzzle. Next time, it's the best time of the day. It is voice print time. And I will see you then when we solve this really neat little puzzle. Take care.